Grace Downs, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT. Nah, and I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's start the timer. Bing. TNT. Dude. Yes. So I uh I was I saw online that there are there's legitimately a procedure out there where people implant magnets in their skin, like in their fingertips. And then your fingers like grow over them and it connects to your nerves, kind of. It, it creates like a new sense. I want to, like, have you heard of this? <laughs> no, this seems like the stupidest shit. Oh, yeah, I've yeah, ever yeah heard exactly. Of in my life it sounds already. dumb. But it says magnetic implantation, Im implantation is an experimental procedure in which small, powerful magnets, it goes uh, neodymium, are inserted beneath the skin, often the tips of fingers. And it said uh, it's popular amongst biohackers and grinders, but whatever. Biohackers! Yeah, and it says magnetic implants can also be used as an, an interface for portable devices to create other new senses. For example, converting other sensory inputs such as ultrasonic or infrared into a touch sensation. It says uh, in this way the individual could feel the distance to objects. Okay. And then, metal, metal objects. And I could see that because if you, 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 you mag magnets will pull you or push you away from something depending on its polarization, oh. right? But then this part over here says, it's, uh, it says p the, the magnets are in there and that pushes against the nerves giving a sixth sense of magnetic vision. You get the hell out of here. Why does everybody want you want to be a superhero that bad? You want to have Neuralink put in your head, bro? Like I mean, yeah, I want to do Neuralink, but so that's cool. This is just putting magnets in your fingers, and this is stupid. But connecting yeah. a computer to yes, your brain because isn't. This is like this is like backyard freaking backwoods. Like I'm gonna put some magnets in my skin so I can feel cans from across the room. Get the fuck, what the who cares? <laughs> I, I can make that beer just go. Poof. Right, yeah. I can telepathize my hands. Yeah. Neuralink, though, you know, it is far off. It's still like the culmination of like a, a gang of scientists, you know, um, funded by today's like Bruce Wayne. At least, <laughs> you know, it's like at least there's some credibility behind that. What would Elon Musk bat signal look like? <laughs> I don't know. Probably a uh, Shiba Inu. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, dude, I don't know. Like, you know, like, yeah, Neuralink's a long way away, and I'm not in any hurry to get it. But, like, if I was old, you like, I was magnets? like, my life is on the way out, I'd be right. like, you know what? Just pop that computer right in my oh, brain. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say I want to go get magnets in my fingers. Oh, no, dude. It would be kind of neat. Like, oh, man, I dropped a screw. <laughs> but it said they only last for five years, and the magnetism starts to die. So what? Then, so then you got to take them out. <laughs> What's <laughs> happening to all those excess magnet it's waves? getting sucked into your, into your loins. Exactly. And you know what? Like, it's, it's so it's so pointless. And, like, it only, if you're serious about this only lasting five years, it's so fleeting. That it just seems like, it seems like a bigger inconvenience. What happens if you, like, walk up to a TV? I don't know. Do TVs do that anymore? It used to. You I don't remember TV? Mean. Remember you could erase VHS tape, like, in, in yeah. Fight Club, they take the magnet to Blockbuster? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I imagine at least, like, messing with your phone somehow. I feel like putting a magnet, like, I'm over here scrolling through Reddit with my magnet, magnet fingers and... And I think it'd like mess up. And my you're phones. getting the red, blue, green on your cell phone. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. something. Color. Yeah, look, it's gonna, it's gonna mess something. Magnets do mess stuff up, man. Exactly. Like, EMPs. Yeah, I. Uh, magnets are cool though. What, what happens if if I go to grab my D and my magnets snap together? <laughs> you got your penis piercing and your <laughs> magnet just and your finger just sticks. Yeah, to my freaking Prince Alba I'll rip it out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just rip it right out of your knee with your hand. You know how much a PA costs nowadays? Yeah, I don't know. What's the rate? I'm not going to tell you. I bet you it's at least $80 for a PA. No, there's a handling fee. It's usually like 100 and something for a handling fee, especially with like that. I remember when I got, I have one tattoo, but when I got my one tattoo, I was asking the guy while I was doing it, uh, what's the weirdest tattoo that he had ever done? And he said that one guy came in and asked him to tattoo his butthole. And I was like, like the actual butthole? Yes. And I was like, he wanted you to tattoo his butthole. What do you want? And he was like, dude, you never believe me. But he wanted R A W R Rar? In, in a circle <laughs> around his butthole. Is he like showing it to people? Like, what do you I mean, mean the only like? time you get a bee hole tattoo is if you're showing your bee hole to people. Okay. He's just, he wants raw, well, like I mean, north, south, east, east, west, but it just says. I don't think that he got a job, decided to get a tattoo of that, and then decided to just go flashing it around town to like, you know, 
be like a sicko or he's anything. in the front window of a shop just bent over <laughs> yeah but i did, mean like you know if did he, he make him pay extra for that because yeah he had, so he did he charged him 120 dollars for a handling fee on top of the cost of the on tattoo. top of the cost of the tattoo yeah the tattoo I, was only like 50 bucks because you know he's just, like but it's a yeah yeah exactly yeah. like if you you gotta come in i gotta touch your your uh unmentionables yeah but he's told me he's done like he's done genitalia before male females boobs all that kind of stuff people ask for the stuff and with any of those tattoos it's like well who's gonna see that you know who the person that needs to see it they're gonna see it and they're gonna appreciate it because if i get what, raw man. on my butthole whoever <laughs> sees that is gonna be like no you didn't right like okay have you ever have you you seen those uh, tattoos like on Trashy where the girls like get like a word words above their vagina or on their on the bottom of their back or whatever like <laughs> Jizzy but sometimes and the it's, it's really ignorant stuff like uh, all abandon all ye who enter here abandon hope or abandon all hope like you right. okay you find a chick you're like you go home you pull her pants off and then she has like a like just some some raunchy ass tattoo on her like on her pubic bone that just says something no. nasty. Funny note: all all ye who enter here abandon all hope is what is said to be on the hates of on the gates of hell. So, oh, geez. <laughs> so it's like it's slightly biblical. I don't know if it's necessarily in the Bible. I think it's in some other text. But that's a funny tattoo. Um, also, she probably going to hell. I, I, look, man, I'm not getting a penis tattoo. I hope you don't get no, one. <laughs> no. But like, what would you do? Like, would that would, would you still like you're about to have sex with this woman, but <laughs> but she's got like a. It just says like, it just says like, fill me up with an arrow. No, I mean, <laughs> you're like uh, you yeah. make bad life choices. Yeah, you, obviously she's made. I'm look. I'm always going to think about you as a person. <laughs> I you, see that. I'll never forget you, girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because frankly, look, if you put a tattoo anywhere and I see it. I'm going to judge you, okay? As I would expect to be judged as well. We cannot help ourselves. We are human. We're going to judge. I'm going to judge her, but I'm not going to not put put seed put in it her. down. Yeah, I'm not not going to put seed in her lips. Seed, <laughs> seed. <laughs> what? That's a new, it's a new colloquialism. That's, that's what I'm saying. Where's how much? Where's the seed at, dog? <laughs> What How is many the dog? Dog is fits everything. Nobody is saying dog anymore. <laughs> no, but like, okay, so like. Now there's you, other body modifications. Like, would would I necessarily befriend a person who has like those implanted horns in their head or something? Or, like or that? They, yeah, they get the screw thing, like the screw the screw brackets put yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. Like I've seen, I saw a picture on on Reddit where a girl had like all spikes in her head, and she had like a bunch of like maybe like thirty to forty to fifty little connections where she could screw. It was a very cute screw. pattern though. It was a very cute pattern. It did not make her look any better because obviously she had to shave her head to do it. And you know, it's fine. You know, whatever your choices are. I don't know. Um, magnets in the fingers probably probably across crossing crossing you off the list. But you ain't gonna know. They're all embedded I'm under gonna the skin. See, I'm gonna see your magnetized fingers. Nah, dude. She's nah. just gonna come up and she's just gonna like place them on your temples and you're no. gonna be like I feel so calm all of a nah, sudden. Fam, nah, fam. When you're grabbing my keys off of the coffee table like your goddamn Jean Grey, I'm going to know what the hell something's up, all <laughs> Is right? Is Magneto in here? Yeah, oh, yeah, that's even, even a better one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. But, I don't know. I don't, like, I like. okay, like, I used to have my tongue pierced back in the day. I have, I have earrings. Like, I've had tattoos. Like, so, like, I'm not opposed to modifying your body, right? Yeah. But I think there's a line. Where it's like where the people used to get like those those uh titanium or solid stainless steel balls just put under the skin so it looks like that's it's what like, yeah that kind of I'm stuff like, is a little much. I'm like why? Or I, have like I don't know man like just have a donut in the middle of your forehead. I've seen that. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen but it's like honestly when our parents <laughs> were children they would have looked at some of the piercings like the industrials and the oh, stuff dude, the piercing, yeah, tongue piercing and they would have looked at that stuff and been like that's too much that person looks like a circus act. Now we're more accepting of that where I even think that's kind of hot. Oh, yeah. Like, dude. yeah, girl, if you got a bunch of shit in your face, yeah, let's go. Well, yeah, I, I, I definitely like tattooed <laughs> girls if it's done tactfully, not just tattoos everywhere yeah. for no reason. Yeah, and if they're done well, it's a A plus thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's certain areas of the body I, I, I don't care for tattoos on, but like, I think girls with like sleeves and like stuff like that. What about, what about if she has like a snake bite and a septum piercing and an industrial and her eyebrow? Yeah, I'm fine and... with all that. Like, I'm fine with all like I, I, alternative looking uh, yeah. stuff like that. But like, even uh, the point I was going to make before we have to go, it's almost time is, uh, you know, I did all that crap when I was a lot younger and it was not acceptable. Dyed my hair, had crazy haircut, like, mm -hmm, dude, mm -hmm. all sorts of stuff. And, like, the stuff that I did back in high school that people used to look at me like a wild man when I would go out in public sometimes. Now, 
people do that all the time. Yeah. It's, it's like, dude, I used to dye my hair all sorts of colors and nobody ever dyed their hair. Now there's like grandmas with green hair and stuff. Like it's yeah. it's just so wildly accepted. Visible tattoos, like now face tats are the thing. We're regular I, tattoos, nothing. Face tats are the I thing. I was a now. trendsetter, TNT Diamond. You were a tra- yeah, uh-huh. You were the first Back person. Back in the day I was. I was all out there doing it, dude. Uh, now kids are doing it too, dude. I don't know if you set the trend if you gave up, man. I need you to go ahead and get your tongue. I did again. my part. I was you out did there. My part to I laid the I laid the roads down. I walked them. That's true. Honestly, Jonas, we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you. Thank you for I your mean, service. Thank you. I'm glad someone's finally realizing it. Thank you for your service. <laughs> That's all time we have today's episode. Please make sure to go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yep.